Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Dobby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for Preston, comma, Carrie Bradshaw hyphen. And welcome to our first series, our first episode, excuse me, in the new series of us reviewing And Just Like That, the hit HBO show, the reboot of Sex and no, the City. No, we're not doing that. What? We're not doing that because I barely watched the first part because I was a Christian at the time. Do but I thought we were it? supposed to... Yes. Okay, we're not doing that. We're reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race, but I need to tell you, there's been a lot of flack. Everyone's hating on Sex and the City, or uh, and just like that. Everyone's hating on it. Here's what I have to say. Mm -hmm. Now, I d you know I don't condone sports. No. But when you are a diehard fan of your team, Sure. Like, for instance, the Wrigleyville Cubs, they lost for like 40 years because oh someone God. brought a goat into the game. Mm hmm I thought you said you didn't follow sports. Well, I don't condone them. I, ha I hear that they happen so close when you're in right. North Halstead. When your team is not doing well, you still got to go hard. And in some respects, I think home. you have to go even harder. Sure, maybe the team is underperforming. We're certainly missing a player. But I am still going to go hard for my team. Because guess what's worse than a team doing bad? A team doing good. A team that gets traded off to Tennessee and then oh, you don't right. have a team at all. So I'd rather have them any way I can get them. Okay. Do you understand? No. These are major spoilers. So uh, if you don't want to hear ma major spoiler, spoilers, skip ahead. Okay, so I'm not Major spoilers it. is a great Drag King name. Reporting for duty. She dies at the end. <laughs> That'd be good. So if you're not major spoilers, make sure you skip forward. Or a queen. I didn't mean to gender major. It could be either. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, you're a Republican now. Is that in, in just like that? Okay, skip forward. I've heard all the rumors. I know Big is finally dead. Mm -hmm. I know that Cynthia Nixon's finally a lesbian again. Like... Well, kind of. The person is non-binary. Yes. Okay. So, so not kind of. Oh, what they she are. is is cheating on her husband, which if you've seen the first movie, it doesn't track because how can you be so mad at Steve for messing up once? Anyway, go ahead. Steve is so hot and so yeah. incredible, and he yeah. also knows Curtis because he's on Chicago Fire. My thing is, as someone who's barely invested, I have major issues. Let me tell you, I didn't like the first movie, or I got frustrated. Of course, I loved the first movie. Yeah. I got frustrated in the first movie because I was like, do we have to add another, like, will they, won't they with Big? Like, can we just let her live her life? Like, they are too old. And just like that, great. It's going to be about her married life. And then boom, they kill him. I'm done. I'm so, I mean, I was already done. I'm not watching it. Well, How do you feel about thing. that? Sorry. Let me ask myself this. Did I ever like Big? Honestly, no. I no. didn't like him. And I didn't, I didn't like the other one either. And she's not really a great person either. No, she's not. But I love her. I think it's great, especially given the actor and the accusations. Get him off of there. Get him out of there. Um, accusations? He's also had some accusations against him about Ugh. Me Too and stuff. Y'all. Which is so, it was like literally Start clockwork. Start a new series. His character's death and then like a week later. Even with all that, the character Big never liked. Never, n never thought was good enough. But also, everyone's complaining. Well, how can you call it Sex in the City without Samantha? And everyone's partnered off. Well, you kill off one of their partners, maybe she'll have more sex. Plus, being partnered doesn't mean you don't have sex. Sure, is that the case for a lot of people in relationships? Absolutely. Yeah. Not for me. We've been together over 10 years now, and let me tell you, we, we used to do it a lot. But overall, I know it's, it's fine. It's big, dead. Are you having fun? Are you enjoying it? Yeah. I'm okay. having fun. Okay. I'm along for the ride. And like I said, I'm a simple viewer. I liked I just, the last... I, I like most person. things until people tell me what's wrong with them. And then I say, oh, I guess I can see that. But I still liked it. Game of Thrones. Oh, last there's season. so much wrong with um, it. There was too many thrones. We're back. We're back from the spoilers. I'm sorry about all that. We discussed a lot of the city. Well, it's because we lost the towers. And now... We don't even know where the sex is supposed to be. <laughs> Darby. <laughs> we, okay, we just had our, uh, we just had our episode with Sigourney Beaver. So fun. Chan Sigourney was, back. was incredible. Chan, as we stated before, Chan will be in and out for various things. It was super duper fun, but because we wanted all of our energy to be focused on our guest, 
we didn't really get to talk about the holidays, the new year. If you want to join our Patreon, oh, yeah, we did do a holiday did. recap podcast, but I haven't, Including I do feel like I haven't seen you in literally nine years. Yeah. What's going on? How are you, my babes? Okay, it's really weird and awkward and kind of sad that you're asking that today because Bob Saget is dead. Okay, this is breaking news. Breaking At news. time of filming, do, do, we do, just do, do, heard do, 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 do. Well, two we checked, hours ago. We checked the trades. They were very hot and filled with his death. I found out on my own and I texted you and I'm sorry I had to tell you that way. I texted him and I was like, what are you doing? And then he's like, LOL dying. Who? Bob. Oh, Bob. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you for calling and telling me because I have this thing with my mom. So Alexis and Michael, whenever they find out a celebrity dies, they immediately text me or call me because they want to beat my mom to it because my mom loves to tell me when famous people die. It's like, I think it's a whole, I think it's a mom thing, right? It's that generation. <sighs> Yeah. She was born, leave it to Beaver. That's when she, she was born on that show. I was so excited to tell my mom that Bob Saget, not excited, so sad. America's, I always want, I wanted one night with him. Bob? You know it was long. That's a goofy day. Yeah, that's why his name is Saget, because it sagged down to the ground. Into a f <laughs> Saget. Okay. Saget f <laughs> Gone too soon. Usually what I do is I send it to our group chat, like our family group chat, because we are all in on the game. And I decided against it because my sister-in-law's father's in the hospital. And I was like, I don't know if we should be joking about America's yeah. dad dying. No. So I just sent it to my mom and we were discussing just the general like, ugh, isn't life. My sister, however, did not take that into consideration. She sent to the family group chat, Bob Saget, dead, all excited, because she was the first one to say it. And then I texted her and I was like, you sent a text in a group where one of the people's fathers in the group could be dying right now, and you're celebrating the loss of America's dad? Wow. And then she's like, oh my God, don't make me feel bad. Oh, I didn't even think about that. And then I just wrote back, WWJD. Well, actually, God killed him. Like he, so he did not get along with his dad. WWDJD. What would DJ do? Because her dad said <laughs> she'd pray about it. She'd pray about it. She would pray. She'd about do it. a TikTok. I Remember know, when I, I Jo was just death stories? Yeah, I think that's oh, why we're getting back into it. I love returning it's... to our roots. That's why I'm great, because I, I've let, let my roots go. Ooh, okay, before we get too far from And Just Like That, you are... I'm doing a little, I'm doing an interpretation of one of Carrie's outfits and one of the, because she's great. I mean, this is the closest way I can find, but it's, I actually really love it. You look great. It's beautiful. I love, it's got sparkle in it. Yeah. Where's, where's it from? Webster wigs. Webster I wigs. Really can wanna, I have one? I really want to, girl, you have to buy one because they're overseas and they or, take a while to get one. Can I have one? Well, I was going to ask. Because we're only doing one season. You know, we've just come off a little bit of a break. And before that, we were doing four series yeah. at once. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing one season. Can I do another wig, like, styling video? I would love for you to do a wig styling video. Maybe maybe next week? Okay. Well, you look great. And I love this wig. And I Thank listen, you. Bert and Ernie misunderstood. They were not gay. They but were just But they comfortable. definitely were, like, tugging. Well, I'm out to mouth. Okay, so let's go. We have to get into it. It's a brand new season yeah. of RuPaul's Drag Race, mm -hmm. season RuPaul's. 14. Mm -hmm. And I gotta tell you, Darby, I was all smiles at episode one of this split premiere. This is a fun group of gals. And can I be honest? I gotta see the rest first, but I wouldn't be surprised if we had our top four in this first episode. That's a very strong thing to say. But yes, I do think that we there do have to are see the rest of legendary people in this premiere. And yeah. I, I do feel like we've got um, Drag Race canon. I do believe we've seen a couple stars shoot right into the canon and then couple fell out the back. Into or out of? Not sure how war works. Very peaceful against it. I didn't watch it the premiere night because I couldn't take that on. I was watching no. My Cousin Vinny with Curtis. Have you ever seen My Cousin Vinny? Can I be honest? Oh. I haven't. Thank you. Thank you for the honest answer. That's all I needed. Anyway, but I watched it the next morning. So I, I, I and I, Fun. listen, listen, I had a great time. This, I had a great fucking time. Yeah. This was a uh, reset. It helped, uh, uh, no trauma. It does help that we had a little break 
in between, and it does help that we haven't, yeah. you know, seen Drag Race in a, in a couple of weeks. I loved it. I had so I much fun, it. and I'm ready to get into this. We have a, we've quite a bit, not a lot, or not as much as if it were all of them, but we have quite a bit to get into. We do. Poor chop loading dock. Rest in peace. Go, bye. Hope it burned no, down. I hope we don't do that anymore. Yeah, I said I hoped it burned down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Good. Why don't we? Why don't we start off where we all start? Yeah. Being entered in, into the unknown. Interred. Being interred. Yeah. Oh, first of all, we got a glimpse of our guest judge, Lizzo, who is the best guest judge I think we've ever had. I agree. Bob tweeted it today and I couldn't agree more. I agree. I can't wait to get into it further. I agree with you and um, Bob. Up first is Alyssa Hunter coming in from, a, okay, from afar, looks like kind of cave woman, she had the bow and arrow, and then up close it's like a brocade, like, it. I don't really know what it was, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. And their hunter, bow and arrow, she got her. She hunted. Yes. Maybe the rest is just an Alyssa, you know, like that's yeah. a style we, we don't fully understand, but she looks gorge. Alyssa Hunter from Catano, Puerto Rico. Very attractive, very attractive out of drag. Very attractive out of drag. Now, I did enjoy how the camera didn't really zoom in or stay on her trying to do the bow and arrow for too long because you did realize that she, in fact, wouldn't be a very good hunter. And I'm not, hey, listen. Well, maybe she was lulling you into a false sense of security. Yeah, but then I saw her talent show and I'm, I still feel sad. <laughs> Sorry. She's not um, good at things with strings is what you're saying. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Alyssa, repent. <laughs> You're right. Let's go up to our next competitor, Bosco. All polka dots and horns. I love, I, I love, loved. I love, love. I love this. Love. I love, there's a signature brow that's love. cool. I love her out of drag. Oh, the out of drag. Did you see the meme and Bosco yeah, shared yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Kimmy Schmidt, Carol Baskin. No. Con. No, Kane. Kane. Carol Madeline Kane. Madeline Kahn, Carol Kane. She looks like her out of drag. Yes, I, d d meet the queens. I think I even said this. I'm worried about the signature eyebrows, but seeing her in person. No, I, I like it. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. I'm in. I'm on board. And I like sold. that she's from Seattle, so we've like hopefully get a little Robbie Turner. And I love that we hopefully. We, I she love walked that there. I'll have you know. <laughs> she knows. She knows better. And I love yeah. the name Bosco. I love, uh, love it. I'm excited. Fell in love with Bosco. Great, 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 great. Oh, you want to say this next one? <gasps> oh, shit. Cornbread. The snack. Jete. Oh, sorry. Cornbread. The, the snack. The snack. Jete. Jete. Cornbread. Thank you. Thank you for giving me that opportunity. And I, I'm, I'm sorry. This is what I was talking about. This is the canon. She is the canon. Okay. Cornbread came in. She spread her corn, to be honest, it's been a while since I've had it. I, she's a star and she will be a part of the Drag Race canon. Sorry, go ahead, I'm so sorry. I 100% agree with you. The look is adorable, but mm -hmm. not Casserole. but. And cornbread. immediately I feel safe with her. Like she knows how to be on TV. She knows how to take charge of the conversation. She's got jokes. She's hilarious. Yeah. Well, uh, we've heard for a while. I mean, Cornbread is not a new name. She has quite the reputation in LA because she is so good at what she does. Yeah, and and you can you can just feel that not knowing yeah. it, you can feel she's very comfortable being a star. And she is she a is. star, and I'm obsessed with her. Looking now, adorable in her uh, out of drag as well. Out of drag she's as well. She is our from Los Angeles. She's our first trans woman to enter the room. Couldn't be happier. She is. She's a dream. Mm -hmm. and now, one thing I was saying to Curtis, because Curtis and I were watching. Sorry, I have to sleep with the window open because the heat's on. While we're watching, Curtis is like, you seem like you're having a lot of fun. Because as soon as she came on the screen, I am ear to ear smiling. It's right? 8.30 in the morning, like a psycho. Listen, I love all the drag races. Do not get me wrong. Some of my favorite drag queens all over the world. But I, I feel like U.S. Drag Race is the original. And so these characters that are presented to us on this TV show, Cornbread, she will become part of the Drag Race canon worldwide. We may tune into Drag Race España in a couple years and someone is like, ooh, you're giving me Cornbread. You know what I mean? Like Instant icon status, inst you're saying. Yeah, I mean, and not saying that the other girls aren't deserving of it, of course, but it's just, no, there's something a there's little more, there's more weight to this. It's and a so heavy cornbread. Filled with corn. 
something about cornbread feels kind of how I felt with like a Bianca Del Rio or a Bob the Drag Queen. It's like, oh, you know what you're doing and you're here to win and I would and not be surprised. And she's going to be a signature I think, drag race queen. I think, look, I know. I think we already have our winner. And I'll eat my words if I'm wrong. For my words? I would words, love to eat my cornbread words because cornbread is delicious. But I think, I think it's a winner. That, that she's We're a winner. shooting our shot really early, but I agree. I love her. Okay. <laughs> but let's talk about a winner of, I think, America's Hearts, Willow Pill. Oh my God. Now, controversial entrance. Entrance look. So smart. It's giving me Sharpay. It's giving me. It's giving me er, early two thousands Paris Hilton angle flip flop platform. Now we we kind of know we kind of have heard of Willow Pill and she's a recent Chicago transplant. Right. Yes. So we kind of know that like oh no 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 she's goofy she's, she's goofy, hilarious she's hilarious yeah she's she's not thinking that this is the height of glamour walking in. She's thinking, this is a joke, this is a funny, th but I'm still like sickening. Well, I think Cornbread even said that after the talent show. Which made like, me love Cornbread even Now more. I completely get her. Yes. Like at first I didn't get it. Yes, knowing who she is going into the show, it was really fun to watch that entrance, but I could see how certain people might be like, well, come on. Well, they probably also are, feel like it's it's a good time to be a little shady and messy and be like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that was but, funny. Yeah. But I did like seeing all of the people putting Dita and Willow next to each other, entering. Dita in their, walked like, so sandals. Willow could, Willow could run. And we love Dita. Yes. And honestly, Bonjour most ladies. iconic Bonjour entrance ladies. line. Bonjour, ladies. Bonjour, ladies. I say that all the time when I come into her house. Do do I? I told you to stop doing that. Yeah. You know who else should stop doing things? Okay. Is Carrie Colby. Oh my God. It's too painful. Oh. Every once in a while, it's too painful. Oh. She's beautiful. Stunning. The look. The the trans colors, the 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 pastel, the beauty, the the blue roots <gasps> and the pink ends, the beautiful, the way the this excellence. garment moved, it the tells excellence. you immediately who she is. Uh, the excellence. And I'm now so... she's from the house of Colby. Mm -hmm. Please. Oh no, that's exactly what I was about to say. Sasha Colby used to live in Chicago. Icon. Icon. I remember many, many years ago, probably ten years ago, I saw her in a store that we no longer go to. I geeked out. I was such a fan yeah. girl. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. I just, I think I see you before. I think you're really good and you're beautiful. And she's like, oh my God, thanks baby. And I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> she, Sasha Colby is a legend. Yeah. So Carrie Colby is already at the tops. It's not like, oh, I hope she lives up to the Colby name. It's like, oh, she's a Colby. Everybody better watch out for her. Yeah. Cause I do, okay, is that a thing? Cause I, I want that to be a thing. Can you adopt a drag child and then be like, Ugh, I don't think you're good at this. And then take your name back. I'm sure it's happened. Oh, I know I know a queen in Chicago who has gone through so many names. <laughs> Don't put any of this in. <laughs> but I love that shit. And I love Carrie Colby. And she looks stunning. She ugh, equally her stunning drag, in her out her talking, in her head, talking head bleh, confessional. So beautiful. She's bleh. from Los Angeles and a Dallas girl, another a, a Texan transplant. It's so that makes me important. love her. I think a Texas you're... transplant trans girl. Can I say that? Probably I don't not. know. No, that didn't feel good. But it's true. I'm obsessed with her. I'm in love with her. I think she's going to dominate this season. She is delicious. And speaking of delicious, June Jambalaya, who I think is one of the most beautiful faces Naturally beautiful, yeah. Ever. Um, when they went to her talking head, I was like, oh. Beautiful. That's just your face. Okay, now. I agree. I have. Here's what I love. Okay. The nerve. I love the face. <laughs> I love that. No, 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 no. No, I, I agree. I agree. Here's what I, okay. But then it, it became very clear. I think Cornbread said. I know. That's exactly She what is a label, label girl, girl. And made sure to say this is an Emilio Pucci. And I'm not ashamed I'm not. to say it. I like that. I like it a little bit more now that I know. Right. Love the shoes. Right. And I think this is camp. But I don't know that she meant it to be camp. But I still like it. But I would, I would absolutely put her on Camp Kiki if given the option, because that's camp. They're gonna start making us pay them every time. You <laughs> Let's stay very positive. It is the first episode. This is just an entrance look. But she who knows beautiful. what's to come? Her face, gorgeous. The energy, 
adorable. A lot of fun talking head moments yes. throughout this. I think she is a younger queen, and I think that we're going to see her really push herself this season. We even saw that later on the runway when Liz was like, are you having a moment? I think it was kind of a rude awakening and I can't wait to see more. But I'm I'm in. I'm ordering yes, the jambalaya. Yes, yes I'm absolutely. ordering the jambalaya. Absolutely. Yes. Up next, all the way from Michigan. Which one, which side? Well, I can't tell because it's, it's... All the way from Michigan, Orion's story. Let's give her a hand. She don't which, need to. She already has one. Which hand? She's got a burger phone. She had a, one of the girls she said an opening, opening paragraph. <laughs> I wish she had stopped at the car warranty thing. I get the impulse to want to say more. I, you know, I'm usually, I talk very little. I like to keep everything very short and sweet. But listen. I love a burger looks, phone. I think she looks gorgeous. Yeah. I noticed on, oh, check out Lee Dawson's already got his first recap up of the first 10 minutes of this episode. We're on it. Go watch IMHO on Ooh. Lee Dawson. But Lee was kind of poking fun at her look, at least through the through the memes, through the language. And I have to disagree. I, I think she's stunning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think her personality, I would like to see it shine more, maybe turn it on more often. Yeah. But as far as a drag queen, she's stunning. If I looked like that? Oh. Excuse me. And she made it all? Yeah, and she made everything. I like that she was able to say that. Here's the thing. This is why it, the episode was so fun to watch. Not a bad egg in the bunch. No. I uh, liked everyone. They go right into their first mini challenge, which is a photo shoot on a rotating wheel. Wheel. It was the lip sync uh, wheel. Fortune. From last season. My favorite part about that was that Simone was between everyone's legs, and that made me laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think that's what Simone would want. My favorite part of it was the very medical looking boots they had to strap their feet into. Did you notice those? No, but I, listen, medicine, art. Have you ever had a smear? Like bagels? Fun, silly. Fun, silly. Uh, love love the first mini challenge being a photo shoot. Yeah, yeah, I do too. There's not really much to say. Everyone did a good job. Carrie Colby, of course, won. It was. She looked stunning. Cornbread, though, didn't realize that she was spinning herself. <laughs> that was funny. So when she got to the bottom, she just sat herself right back up. I did see somebody tweeted out, can you imagine you just get on Drag Race, you get strapped to a wheel, you're spinning in a circle as RuPaul just maniacally laughs in your face. Like what a mind fuck that would be. And I think that's kind of where Cornbread was. So she was like, well, yeah. I don't know what the rules are. I didn't know that they weren't there. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that was so um, funny. Yeah, it's cute. I'd much rather a spinning wheel though than water. Although water would be fun. Okay, um, let me ask you tweeted, this. If you do an underwater photo shoot for your first one, right? Let's say you drown. Oops. Do you think they'd name the tank after you? And then every season, all right, the tank girl. our first challenge is of course, the Alexis Bevel's water bucket. Why do I have to drown? I just don't think that you swim really well. I did watch Camp on Kiki. It was also exciting to see everyone de-drag, and it's more exciting to see everyone's reactions to everyone else. You know, they always say like, oh, excuse me, you look very attractive, and blah, 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 everyone blah, Everyone wanted to bang Alyssa. And then everyone was like, well, oh, she went from a woman to a five-year-old. To a child. Which we find out later, she... Is she, a child. She <laughs> lied about her age. She, we did, we found on. out later, she's in fourth grade. She, Jillian Anderson, you know she lied about her age so she could be in X-Files? Yeah. Like she made herself older or younger? She made herself older because they weren't gonna cast her. I think she said she was like 21, she was really like 16. Oh, so she made herself older. Well, she could have just said, hey, I'm a redhead, I'll just go out in the sun a few times, I'll age terribly. We do find out that Willow. We get a little traumatized. Yeah, she's yeah. to. She's she's living with a chronic illness, mm -hmm. and what did she say that crystals form in her eyes and her fingers? So it's yeah, very, so it's very uh, glamorous. Glamorous. What did she, say? she got Miss Rue laughing. Rue we we love began someone who laughing can... with Willow and never quite stopped. I think we're gonna get some maniacal Rue laughter thanks to Willow Pill yes. all season. Now, normally I don't really work hard. Normally I don't want to agree with Rue that much when she'd pick someone to laugh at. But yeah, right. I know you We mean. love Willow. We're biased, so. We're billows. We'll think. Well, I'll, I'll workshop it. We are pill poppers. We're pill poppers. Yeah. 
with Judy Garland's. Should we get into the talent show? Yeah. We did get a sweet moment. Lizzo snuck into the workroom to say hi, and that was super exciting. It was such a natural thing, too. I, Back to the Bob the Drive of Sweet. Lizzo's really good at this. Oh, honestly, really good at this. If Rue ever decides to pass the baton, or if she passes away, Lizzo's drag race. So you don't get to choose that. You can choose when to pass your baton. I, ne I choose never. You see Bring It On, right? Yeah. Okay. You're talking about the TikTok? Do you see the TikTok? Oh, yeah, I did, I did. Yeah. Well, I think I think we have the same TikToks, but I see them yeah. like 30 minutes before you. And Curtis sees them a month later because he does Instagram reels. That's embarrassing. Yeah, it sucks. You married him. So we start off the Charisma Nerve Talent Show with a performance by none other than Mama Ru herself to her new song, Catwalk. Can I be honest? Didn't hate it. The song. The song. Didn't hate yes. it. Yes. Can I say this? It's a weird feature for a dancer. I said this. Can I say this? I said this. Can I say this? I said this to Curtis. Because Curtis was like, if you're judging people on their lip syncing ability and you're not really great at it, maybe you shouldn't showcase it before they that's do it. That's a slippery slope. No, but slippery listen, but listen. Slope. I know, but okay. listen, listen, okay. listen. I did come to the defense. Well, first of all, we're judging people and this is what we do. So, and we're like, <laughs> Yeah. She has done literal decades of heavy lifting. Yeah, she's... There is no need for her to do anything she doesn't want to do. And if this brings her joy, let her have that joy. Here's what I would hope in the future. Rue, if you're watching, hello, how's Wyoming? I would Subscribe. love to see you lean in to the humor of it all. You're a very funny person. You enjoy humor on your stage. We watch your show, People Fart. Your song is Catwalk, right? Your song's all about the catwalk, walking the catwalk. You don't really do a lot of movement. You did walk the catwalk, but you don't do a lot of movement and there's dancers dancing around you. Lean into that. Make them build you something where you just stand still and you're on rollers and they're making you walk the catwalk. She did or... that on a little bit on the, uh, the Christmas episode when she turned around and then it replaced with someone else. Yeah, that's but funny. but like just every time you come out to do your lip sync, you can do a big build up of like, oh, walk, who's ready to walk on the catwalk? And then we see her and she's being carried down the catwalk as two dancers are moving each of her legs and she's just going. Because she doesn't have to, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I, well, I agree with you. She's done the heavy lifting. She has created this platform that we all... As much as everyone yeah. is like shitting on it online, I get it, I get that reaction. I have the initial, but... Let she can do what but she also, wants. Let her live her life. Yeah, she's twice my age, and I'm tired. You is know what she I mean? Though? We should calculate that. I do not think that math is correct. Yeah, she's what like forty, so twice my age. Meanwhile, downtown. Let's get into these talent shows. We start off with June Jambalaya, yes. who is showing off her dance skills that she went to school for, and she's doing a beautiful African dance. The little problem with the headband following over her eyes. I kind of wanted her to be like, oh, that, I, that was on purpose. That was to signify the, you know, the blinding of dreams or whatever. Sure. Yeah. It, I think she could have spun it to I think she But can, she was great. I think she can spin it later on in her drag career. I think we're seeing a lot of beginner drag queen kind of, she's still figuring her shit out. And this was yeah. like, the headband fell and she didn't really know how to roll with it. She hasn't like picked up those tricks yet. But I'm gonna say though, I'm gonna say but in her defense of team talent, not everyone can do that. No, agreed. Completely agreed. I'm excited to watch. We always get a younger queen who has so much potential and we get to watch her grow. I'm excited to see Miss Jambalaya cook longer. Bloom. You do June, June. Bust it all over. June. 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 Speaking of busting out all over, we have Miss Bosco doing a burlesque tease number as a flower going all the way down to pasties and tape. Cool. Costume, super cool. Loved the ripping off the flowers. Yeah. Burlesque is not always my thing. So was it the most entertaining thing for me personally? No, but she looked beautiful doing it and it seemed like they enjoyed it. I love burlesque. I think when I think done well, is, it is incredible. Yes. I don't know if this was the stage for it. But I also don't know that it translates to film. Mm, I've said that often about 
Burlesque film, you know, that's why Moulin Rouge never really worked for me, you yeah. know, because the translation of the film. Speaking of not really working for me, Alyssa Hunter, now she told kind of everyone she was going to play the guitar, or she gave that impression. Yeah. Looks cool, looks rock, and I, and I think Alyssa's downfall was she was trying to show versatility on the first episode, but and what she ended up yet. doing was she was confusing them. Right. Looks incredible. Yeah, my heart kind of went out to her for that yeah. when Lizzo, I think, said, like, yeah, it's like she didn't understand the assignment. And I'm like, well, maybe she did. I don't know. I don't know how the assignment was presented. It may have been presented as show us who you are. Or it could have just been like, do your favorite talent. So I, I did feel for her on that because, hey, maybe three or four episodes down the line, would we have been excited to see something different from her? Yeah. It just so happened that it happened to be the first episode. So we didn't really know what to expect from her yet. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. It wasn't bad. No. I do. I wish she had had a panty. I did want just a little bit of... Hmm. Up next was Carrie Colby looking gorgeous in a little cheerleading outfit. I did agree with the judges a little... So she jump roped. Jump rope for life. Did you ever do that? Of course. Of course. Jump for, for life was like the thing. Did you ever win anything? The best thing I ever won. Let me tell you about this. Kids... You're not gonna even know what to do with this. I barely know what to do with this today. It was a little blue rectangular, I'm gonna say rectangular cube, but stay with me. You look in it and you press a button and it's a flip book, but it's like a movie. Like it's, it's, it's so it's a Bugs Bunny cartoon. He was flying an airplane and it crashed. I don't know why that's a toy. So if you looked into it and you press the button, it would flip it really fast in front of you like you were watching the It sounds insane now that I say it out loud, <laughs> but I was really excited. Did you win anything? No. no. Oh, okay. Not at that age. You weren't very pro-life at that point. Yeah, she she started with, ooh, ooh, before we get into the actual, Which one's like, pro-life? No, I'm not that. We're not getting this off-brand shit. We're not getting this midi file Nicki Minaj. We got the real song. Oh, yeah. That's money. That's wild. That's new. But oh, she looked great. Oh, we stunning. didn't talk about the... Stunning, and the jump roping was so cool. Yeah. Orion's story. Oh, oh, Orion. Oh, okay, I want to say this. Maybe, like, on a TikTok or a YouTube video, or maybe, like, in real life in at a, a comedy show, in a bar, yeah. where people are, like, encouraged to interact. Maybe this was going somewhere, but it didn't... It didn't... It wasn't. It didn't. The people, the multiple people... But I see where it was going. ...who tagged me... What? In a close-up of her of her face in this. It's a funny joke, okay? <laughs> TikTok very young, I don't remember the end of it, but play that in your mind. Thank you for tagging <laughs> me, but like also fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so here's the thing, a, a comedy genius here, thank you. In a smaller space, you can take people on these more absurd journeys with you because they are At kind of forced into show. your energy. At an improv show. Yes, and yes, and. But in this space, this huge studio where you're like 50 feet from the judges and you're filling this and there's all these people around you and there's like all this dead space, that's... That's a lot to ask an audience to do, to take, to go on that ride with you. Yeah. You gotta pull them into it. And if anything, she pushed us out. Yeah, and I just don't think this is the right, it's just not the right. Uh, but, but I appreciated uh, the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that this could be, I think this could be from the ashes rises a phoenix. She could make this a character in the future that has more jokes. Yeah. And that we're all going to be like, yeah, oh, Ryan story, Tammy two stroker, or whatever her name is. Listen, she started down at the bottom of the mitt. We want her to get all the way to the Romney. Yeah. Up next. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Say it. Go, go for it. I'm... Cornbread. Oh, Cornbread's original song that she lip synced to. She came up with props. First of all, she told everyone she was going to do competitive eating. Hot dog eating. Like 120 something hot dogs. Which I which would Which would have been amazing. I would watch But that. I love that she yeah. just so straight faced told everyone what she was going to do. Incred. Incred. This was so great. So great. Merle Ginsburg missing. Oh my God, I took a picture of that. <laughs> Humor. Hilarious. No, humor. Now she should, she, she, and her, she should speak to Orion. Maybe help her along. Because that was brilliant. The song was funny. Her, the song was her great. Her signature kind of, I can't yeah. do it. Hang on. No, I can't do it. I think it's just like a. 
Like, yeah, I can't open my eyes wide, but she does like big, big eyes. Yeah. I loved it. I loved everything about it. I loved everything about She's it. natural. I loved it. Now, star. Michelle said, couldn't understand you. And then thank God Lizzo jumped in and said, I understood you. And the RuPaul I was loved like, it. me too. And the RuPaul was like, I'll, I'll do Goldilocks. I'll be in the middle and say I understood some of it. And then Michelle was like, Maybe I shouldn't have been the white lady telling the black girl I didn't understand you. Well, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. We all make mistakes. I loved it. Yeah. Incredible. Speaking of incredible, Willow Pill. Oh my God. In the weirdest, wildest thing we've seen. This was all over the trades. And by that, I mean TikTok and Twitter. This was the standout. This was so funny. It's random. The song choice is amazing. I get a thrill, okay? I get a thrill when I see someone who has a very clear idea of what they want or what they expect and that gets shoved in their face and they see that other people are enjoying it. So they have to play along, but you can tell they don't want to. And the hilarious Ross Matthews was that the entire time. Rue <laughs> and all the other girls are like, what? Oh my God, this is crazy. I love this. And he just kept going, what am I watching? What is this? Uh huh. But you could tell in his brain, he's like, I don't get this. Why? But I love. But that. I'm playing along. <laughs> By the way, I love that when that shit happens. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, I'm gonna I'll retract my earlier statement of I don't know if burlesque translates to film because this was burlesque. And I loved the movie. This was burlesque, and it was great. Also, congratulations to Ross Matthews on being engaged. You know what? I just got married. Yeah, but you're done. He's engaged. He's like, I'm done for now. Remember when he came to Redacted mm -hmm. and then I got to open for his comedy show and then mm -hmm. the next day the pandemic started, mm -hmm. his current fiance was there and I listened to his podcast and I kind of know that he doesn't maybe like always talk about his private life so much. Right. So I'm sitting there, I'm watching them hold hands and like be really lovey, but I'm like, don't ask about it okay. because I don't want them to because he doesn't talk about that stuff and I don't want him to, but they, they were like holding hands and like looking at me. It was really nice. Did you hold your own hand and go, I'm fine. Yeah. So after she got in the bathtub, after it was clearly over, they're still cheering and screaming and laughing. So she puts a leg back out. She peeks out like that. Love that shit. She rolled with it. Brilliant. She's so brilliant. I wonder if that was a real tub. And did she like know, have to that. bring it with? Yeah, that was her one carry-on. <laughs> it was a clawfoot tub. Let's get into the runway. Ooh, the runway is best you, best drag, whatever your drag signature is. Signature drag. Signature you. Do you. Kirkland Honey. signature drag. Up first, June Jambalaya. June Jambalaya with that gorgeous face. I love the hair. I loved this outfit. That is, yeah. that's regal. It's fun. It, it is a... It, it, it is a style that we're seeing a lot in drag currently. Bodysuit with the ornate fabric. Yes, but she looked gorgeous. She does look really beautiful. I'll say I kind of wish it was a dress rather than pants. Because there was something about the fit of the pants for me that didn't quite... I like but the I love... pants because it allowed her to move more. And it's the first runway and it's like a fun... I think seeing her kind of squeezed on the runway in a gown wouldn't have been as yeah. fun, but like, yeah. But I love the top. It's very reminiscent of Game of Thrones to me. Oh, but regal, gorgeous. Bosco. Bosco looking very Dita Von Teese, very gorgeous, double Double horns. tits. Loved. Yeah, this was beautiful. Zero notes. Yeah. Alyssa Hunter showing versatility with this gorgeous feathered My Fair Lady Ensemble. I mean, it is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. And she's gorgeous. I think they used this kind of dichotomy, like the two different things. I think they used it as a, we don't get it, but I mean, there's there's no nothing wrong with her drag. It's beautiful. I don't think that's fair to do because they don't say episode one, you're doing this and this. So I don't think it's fair to say we don't get it because they don't know when they're doing what. Yeah. So I don't think that's fair. But, uh, like, uh, the thing with Alyssa, I think Alyssa presents a polished drag that is so upper level. It is so... Upper echelon. It's so echelonic. It's to a level that almost we're kind of writing off because it's like, that's a drag queen. She looks perfect. Okay, let me see something weird. Uh, for, kind of uh, like June Jambalaya's dancing. That is really impressive and gorgeous and it looks really good. Let's... So... Maybe I'm not making the same point you are. No. Carrie Colby. Money. I can't handle it. I can't, I don't know if this makes sense. 
but it hasn't stopped me from saying things before. True. Fur coats, obviously, we don't, don't, fur is murder, don't, don't do fur. There's something off about them, and watching her, I realized I don't like that they stop so high above the floor. I think all fur coats should, should hit drag. the floor and drag behind, like this one. I think it's gorgeous. What can I say? Yes, she looked gorgeous. Fur coats. Obviously, I agree with hopefully you. Hopefully, when you see fur out in the wild on like old ladies, and it do, it is it's always like a good six it do, inches it needs off to the ground. Hit the floor, like a, um, like a drug. But it can't hit the floor because it can't get dirty. Because that of once course you take it the can. Skin when it was animal, on the animal, no. Once it comes off the animal, you leave the body on the floor, and you say, "Kids, clean that up." When we went to Baltimore for Christmas, we went to the airport, and this woman, I would say she's in her early Women 70s. at the airport? She was like early 70s, late 80s, truly could not tell. She walks in in this fur coat and she walked in in a way of like, I don't see you. I'm just walking to where I need to be, get out of my way. And then I look back cause I was like, she, I bet she got out of a limo. Is there a horse and carriage over there? Bitch, she got out of that Honda Civic with the gumption the gall, the audacity, just because she was wearing a fur coat. Bitch, that's a Civic. Can I tell you, my Uber on the way here was a Tesla. Why, if you can afford a Tesla, why are you driving Uber? Then they can't afford the Tesla. What do you think about all these Ks? The body Every is kiss gorgeous. With K. The body I love is it. Gorgeous. I love it. I truly. I'm, I'm not going to say anything negative. I can't. I couldn't eat possibly. Orion story. Mushroom muffin. Weird sci-fi. I like this. It was dumb it's and fun stupid. And weird. Yeah. Listen, if Katya had worn that, you would be shit in your pants. You'd be talking about it for days. We've seen this. We like it. I thought it was cute. Tells us who it is. It's yeah. funny. Cornbread the snack jeté. I love her. She said, people think big girls should cover up. I'm here to show you everything. The body is right. I've never. The no wig. Didn't mind it. Loved it. Loved Not it. only didn't mind it, I loved it. I thought it was a brilliant choice. I truly wanted to just smack Michelle. I know you feel that a lot. But, and I'm so happy for her. She's doing such good work. But I did want to like shake her and be like, fuck you. She looks great. She looks great. She looks that's fashion. I thought she looked great. I loved it. And I love that yeah. she's wearing the same fabric as Lizzo. That was so cute. What yeah. a great moment. Oh, God. And honestly, if you're fit... You know what? I was going to let it go. Michelle, if, you're, <laughs> if ah! your fishnets aren't ripped... You're not doing drag. Thank you. Yeah. I just think, shut up. But also, she is there to judge. <laughs> no, I mean, I will say, as as a viewer, all of this is as meant... a viewer, I think watching you can be like, oh my god, yeah, why would you go to the show with ripped tights? Because Mama, your tights if are you're always a drag ripped. queen, your tights are always ripped, and they have to be. You may get one. You may when put you them sign on, up and they to be are a drag not queen, ripped, and you're like, they say, wow, are look your at tights me. ripped? Go I guarantee home. you, as soon as go you turn the corner right to go now. on the runway, go outside your tights and get caught on the side of the runway. And if they don't, there'll be a hole. It means you're not wearing jewelry because you get holes from doing the tights. Literally anything okay. while wearing tights. You need to put them and in you, the dark, in the car door. And the door. fact that you're on TV, when you get it's your like, Uber well, yeah, and the Tesla, can stay away from you the have holes. to pull pull your tights out and let them they be in the have car to zoom door. In and let the you tights say stay it. outside, and then you get rips in them. And if you don't do that, you're not doing drag. I'm completely in agreement with you. Willow Pill, adorable. Adorable. Loved it. This I was loved, so fun. It gave me Daphne from Scoops. Scoops. The color, color combo, yeah. right? Is Daphne the Well, the she's like one? pink and purple. Well, she's purple. Daphne sucking off Screech. No, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> what's his name? What's his name? Dustin Diamond? No, the Scoob. Oh, Scoob. Oh, Scoob. Scoo Matthew Lillard? <laughs> no, not the actor. Shaggy. Shaggy. It looked like Daphne sucking off Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, this is definitely Daphne. Uh, I loved it. It's so cute. I thought we were done. With, sorry to top bring up Michelle again. I thought we were. <laughs> done, I thought we were done with the I hate green thing because she hasn't said it in a while. I know. And just because you one person doesn't like a color doesn't mean well, it's a bad. Well, this choice. read to me as she was in on the joke and she was enjoying the fact that she had a thing. I and, love this color combination. The, can we? Can I just say as as what? Listen, as much as we say about the the girls, we mean it about the judges as well. I enjoy Michelle Visage, the character. I love shitting on her yeah, as me a too, judge me too. on the show. Me too. In real life, Whatever I'm sure she she's is. a dream. Oh, I'm sure she's like a mother. Like but a this is wonderful. This is just this is just TV talk. Okay, I'm sorry. I think this it, is so fun and bright and cheerful and after flirty. her killing herself while eating spaghetti in a bathtub or whatever that was. This was the perfect, like, see, I am quirky in fashion. You had no idea what to do with me. 
I'm gonna make you guess what to do with me now. Too. Yeah. Loved. I like it. Turn on, turn. And you know what? I'm gonna say this. Anytime someone has headphones, I like mm. it. Wow, it's a new season. How do you feel getting back into it, watching this first episode? As a reviewer, I was personally relieved that it was a two-part. I liked that they left some of the trauma out. I liked that there was no, you know, keeping <laughs> another half locked in a back room. But loved also, it. as a viewer, I like that get we get a chance them. Them to really get to know them, and not in a shitty way like pork top loading dock, like half of you are going home. Trauma. Oh, that's what you meant by trauma. Yeah. I was like, there's trauma talk in every episode. Why no, are you no, mad no. at that? Like being traumatized by the show. Now I'm here. I think this promises to be an amazing season. I'm really excited to review it with my sister. We didn't finish the episode. Cornbread won. God damn it. Which is so exciting. Congratulations, Cornbread. She won more corn. You did not write it down. I don't know. The bottoms were June and Orion. Now, as soon as they said, you're going to be performing Lizzo, and I saw Orion looking all skinny and weird and quirky. This song is not for you, ma'am. This is not going to go well for you. Right. And then June, of course, killed it. Killed it. I killed it. I cannot imagine a more nerve-wracking thing than having to lip sync in someone's song them. in front of them. Right. Terrifying. Yeah. June absolutely slayed. The thing is, Orion did a June, pretty good job June too. connected. Not like I mean, she's clearly a theater kid because she connected it all. There was yeah. the emotion, the dance, it all worked. But Beats, she was like, dramaturgy. Yes, you could see her like really grumbling through some of these lyrics, like really showing that emotion. And then they cut over to Orion, and she's like, "Wig reveal to the same wig." Mm. We get this lip sync. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Orion. Yes, her story was cut short, but. I think there will but be a sequel. But her belt is great. Can I say this? Just my own personal feelings for me, bother me. I don't think that this is real. Do you think this is real? I mean, they did it in season six. Oh. Some people did not even meet uh, other people. Kelly. Okay. Mantle. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. I know, right? Love Kelly. That is a shame. I hope she comes back and does what something. What was her? Bacon. No, what was her entrance line? It was like something, she walked in with like some line and then she took her glasses off and went, woo, gonna put these back on. <laughs> Listen, Kelly Mantle, lover or hater, you better love her, you son of a bitch. <laughs> lover or hater, you, you better, better love her. her, you son of a bitch. So Orion, <laughs> what a dream though, what a sweetheart. I'm sure when, hey, I'm next sure. time I'm in the uh, mitt, I'm gonna go wherever. Unless this is the mitt. I don't know which mitt. So I'm excited. This is going to be a great season. I cannot wait to yeah. read the mess of, meets the rest of the cast. I can't wait either. We we haven't even gotten to the straighty. No, we got straighty coming. Yeah. Which, by the I way. That's okay to say. As soon as this is over. He is straight. It's according to his yeah. driver's license. As soon as this is over, go watch. Alaska and Willan did like a little skit. The Meet the Queens. The Meet the Queens. And Alaska plays Maggie Morphosis. I laughed out loud. Yeah, you said that to us. I laughed out loud. That's so funny. Oh, okay, you didn't. I watched it first. I can't, I can't watch TV. I can't watch YouTube videos. Oh, well, I'm not going to put that in because we're a YouTube video. <laughs> um, we have so many more queens to meet, but congratulations to the first seven. Yeah, You were all incredible and gorgeous, and I cannot wait to see more of what you got to offer. Yes, if you'd like to see more of what we got to offer, mm. join us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash IMHO the show. We've got so much to offer there. And of course, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we will be back week after week just to say, yeah, and I thought that was fine. If you'd like a message from us, we're both on Cameo. Are you back on Cameo? Cameo. I am on Cameo. We are yes. both on Cameo. Or if you'd like a message from the both of us together, you can go to our website, imhotheshow.com, and order a Shamio. We do have a couple Shamios to do tonight. Oh, let's so do it. Make sure you're dressed. Oh, good. You're dressed appropriately. Until next time, remember if you're jambalaya and you have cornbread, then you'll never get Orion the stories. Right. Take your pills with your. And. The other girl. And go and go hunt down your favorite Carrie Colby. Don't hunt Carrie Colby, that's horrible. Yeah, I know. She tweeted today, I am not a ferret. What do you think that means? Cause she said in the episode that ferrets run on wheels. She was like, No, they don't. Hamsters. But she said ferret. Right? We're gonna look into that. See you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>